This is the content page. This page allows you to manage all of your 3D assets, including your models, videos, animations, and interactive content. Each card allows you to preview the 3D model. And if you click on it, you'll see a pop-up menu with several different features that you can check out. You can view the original file name. You can modify the metadata over here. This is the summary of what you're also able to modify in the data section. So here, for example, you can add a key pair, which is a data type and a value. If we wanted to modify scale, we could change that to one, and that would apply to this model for this content card specifically. Here, you're able to upload a CSV of metadata or download it. By clicking on the trash can, you'll end up clearing all of the metadata. Here, you can edit the target, which is where your model is going to appear. This can be anywhere, which will be anywhere in front of you, whether it's on the floor or the wall or floating in space. For a specific location, this can be longitude and latitude, or it could be something as specific as a city or as broad as a country. And alternatively, you could use this on an image and use this as a marker and upload anyone that you want. So for example, if you wanted to use your company logo and have a 3D model pop up, that's a perfect use case. Here, you're able to access insights about this specific model. You can change the duration to a week, a month, or a year. Here, you can briefly edit the model. Once you're done, you can export this to the console. You can apply the changes to the entry, or you can download the model. Over here, you can modify the lighting of this 3D model. For example, if we wanted to change the exposure, intensity, softness of the shadow, etc. If there are any animations attached to the model, they will present right here. And if you wanted to add a hotspot, which is an annotation to this object, you could do so by clicking on the hotspots, clicking a place on the model you'd like to add it, give it a name, Enter that. So anytime you click on this model, this is what's going to come up when you press the button here. Here you can modify the materials. And over here is your JSON data in case you needed that. Here you can download the model and see what different versions are available for it. You can delete the model over here, copy it, You can share a link for it, or you can add it to a folder. Each of the objects on one of these cards is referred to as a hologram. They can be static or animated. We accept several different types of formats, including the most popular, which are OVJ, GLB, and FBX. We also allow for images and video holograms. If you wanted to download the model, you could do that here. If you wanted to delete the model, you could do that with the trash can icon. A link is generated for each 3D model so that it can be viewed in browser and it can be shared quickly through social media. You can add this asset to a folder or you can view a QR code. And just like we did in the shortcut menu when we clicked on the card previously, we can view this on the floor see it on an image, or see it on somebody's face. If you wanted to leave comments, you could do so, but just be aware that this is available for pro, premium, and custom plans. To quickly view what existing metadata is on the model, you can just click on this arrow. There are a couple ways that you can add assets to the Echo 3D console. The first way is to upload your own, and you would just do so by clicking add to cloud, or you could click on this plus on an empty content card. Or if you wanted to do that through Google Drive, you could as well. If you were searching for a model and you didn't have one, you could search through Echo 3D's console of over 75,000 free assets. For example, let's say we wanna build an office in 3D.
We did a quick search and we found one right away. Please note, you can also drag and drop files into this card and it'll upload automatically. Or you could upload a folder with multiple assets as a zip file.